is your how do you and your wife support each other like you know does she she's all involved in it too or like um you know how, well, how do you, yeah she's the backbone of everything in my life mm. and she is the the she is the backbone of that because she's like a billion percent smarter than basically every human i know so she runs all the she does all the computer work all the paperwork all the design work and all the stuff and i carry all the heavy things around and that's pretty much how that works <laughs> um, we are committed to doing anything i don't care what it is we will do anything to help each other it just doesn't that's just how it is that's going to be and, and now and i will say this that was before this mm. i don't think you're i don't think you should be married to each other if you won't do anything for each other, if you won't bend over backwards to help each other, if you won't do, I have friends now who I've listened to their live story about their marriages or their marriages coming apart. And because the man didn't love her, he's not, you don't love her if you're not willing to do anything for her. You just don't. That's just the truth. That's the hard way to look at it, but that's the truth. And we'll do absolutely anything. And sometimes within the situation we're in, that's trying to be okay for each other when one of us is out of our mind. Mm -hmm. and doing whatever it takes to help that and some days that's i need to carry all the boxes and some days that's you need to make sure i don't kill the neighbor and some days that's uh i'll bring you home reese's cups because that might make you happy and some yeah. days that's uh you know uh, and some days that's we need to sit together and just be quiet and cry and some days that's just um the reality is it but part of the reason we're doing well with this is because we have a lifetime of practicing how we treat each other yeah. of practicing how we are with each other of not being no matter how crazy the moment is not being vicious to each other mm. not being mm. no matter how bad no matter how and i'm and okay and i'm a never toward her but i'm a lit up human being i'm my emotions mm. are on I, my whole life is the volume is turned up to 10 all the time. <laughs> I've always been that way. That's the way I approach everything in lifting. That's the way I approach everything when I do everything. And that's the way I react emotionally to absolutely everything. And she's the calm, you know, like I said, keeps me from burning down the villages thing. But we have a lifetime of no matter what, you don't say vicious things to each other. You don't hurt each other. You don't do that. You take care of each other. You, I'll do anything, absolutely anything to make her okay. As, as okay as I can and she do the same for me and that's you, you just your relationship is not what it should be if that's not how it is between the both of you and it has to be both ways and yeah. if you don't practice that you're you, and and people give up the hmm. possible fairy tale of what they could have yeah I had a friend who said to me that recently I never thought I'd it, it was impossible to have a fairy tale of life, of love, of, of, I thought that was just all myth that nobody could ever have those relationships like that. You have to find the person who you truly do love that way, who you're meant to be with. And that but at the same time, you have to do it. You have to be what it takes to be with that to that person. And that means loving like you are, like there is no barrier, like it is wide open. Like, and maybe it's just because that part of my head is broken and I have no governor. I have no, I have no breaks. <laughs> that kind of thing but if you don't passionately love that person like it is life and death you don't need to be with them and you don't need to and you need to create the life where even if a bomb goes off like it did in ours you can take care of each other and do and 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 i don't care i'm getting a sign from her right now she's just standing on the other side of the room writing notes to me telling me <laughs> 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 she wrote love you gomez because we have a joke about being the adams family couple of that about, <laughs> yeah, that's cool <laughs> about being morticia and gomez and we've been married 24 years and still kiss each other in public and make people feel uncomfortable and that kind of <laughs> <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't do that if you don't make that happen and, and here's the thing okay most people are living with these stupid barriers i, I i'm kind of bashful to hold her hand in public what's wrong with you yeah. Act like you own the place you are and do mm. what you want. Be what you want. Act like you actually have authority in your own life mm. and, and do it and make it. And, and you know what? Uh, well, I'm just not that interested. Well, freaking find the thing that makes you salivate passionately 
and live that way. Yeah. And even if you got to get a concussion to make it happen, I don't care what it happens. <laughs> I, I just do it. Don't be – seriously, what are we doing that's wasting life? Why, why are we not living in a way that – why are you accepting less than that in a marriage, in your physical training, in your job, in your, in your moment-to-moment -moment life? It, you have a short time on this planet, and you can make it the most amazing story that anybody around you has ever heard. You can make it the most interesting thing because I'm sorry, if you're bored, it's your freaking fault. If, it's, if you're bored with life, you got to find better things to do. You got to yeah. make it happen. You, if you can't, you can't sit on the couch and complain about being bored. You, if you don't open the doors to living with each other like that, number one, you'll never survive a tragedy like with us, yeah. like the <laughs> thing that happened to us. And number two, you, why would you go through life with someone you didn't love that way? And why would you go through someone? Why would you exist? for 70 years and that's all you got well i did i had a pretty good time existing jesus yeah don't <laughs> the opportunities of life are yeah. so vast are so amazing are so beyond what's possible why would you not experience the incredibleness that life is emotionally physically and every other way mm. if you just open the door stop being afraid stop just do it and it's, you know what you might get hurt a little bit along the way. Mm. You might, you, it's going to hurt. You might, it's, it's going to happen. You might have to do some really hard work, both emotionally, spiritually, physically. You actually are going to have to for sure do some physically if you're going to be vital enough mm. to do that. Because most people aren't experiencing any of those emotional massive benefits because they don't feel good enough to do anything. Yeah. I want to feel like there's fire in my veins all the time. So I train my bot like <laughs> I just got another sign from her, but <laughs> 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 all the time, all the time. And, and, it's, and here's the thing. It's there in you. So you got to cultivate it. You got to throw the gasoline on it, do whatever it takes. Spend the time that you have in the things that explode your imagination and, and, and find the way in your mate to be exploded with her and to be, uh, mm. to be into that in the way that you physically do things and the way that you, that you read and learn and function and, and, and live and play and all those things. Just find it. It's there. You just have to open the door. You have to turn the volume up, knock the barriers out, whatever it is. Stop being embarrassed that you, you know, I, listen, I realize that I, people watch me and they're like, that guy is nuts. He looked crazy. <laughs> I flat don't care. I'm having so much more fun. And I'm living so much more powerfully than most of you. You can make fun of me all you freaking want. <laughs> if you had any idea the level of passion existing in my life from moment to moment, hmm. you'd stop laughing and jump into my shit. Yeah. <laughs> Super powerful, man. That's different. Waking at dawn, packing the gear, September tour and up in the air. Stop at the toll, digging for change, snowy Cape Fold mountain range. Gotta be quick so 